Hello everyone, this is a tutorial on how to lock a pop-up layer on Zara Web Designer. And one of the functions I will be using in this demonstration is the tweak set. And the tweak set can be downloaded from the Talk Graphics website, talkgraphics.com. Go to that website and in the forums we go down to uh, Zara Web Designer and you'll see when you open the Zara Web Designer forum there is a sticky the first link is the tweak set so what you need to do is download tweak set and install it in Zara Web Designer not a very difficult thing to do what am I trying to achieve well I've put together just a simple demonstration there's a few elements here there's a gray rectangle uh, that I'm using as the background of a pop-up layer there's a button that will close the pop-up layer and then I put a gallery uh, onto that layer. I also have a button on the main page that will open that pop-up layer. Now as you'll notice at the moment all of the objects here that will eventually be on my pop-up layer are actually still on my mouse off layer, the, the regular mouse off layer. I can show you that by just turning off the, off the visibility so they all disappear. They're on the mouse off layer. So how do I create a new layer and move these objects onto that layer. I just in the layer gallery, which you can open with the F10 button, I will create a new layer. Our dialog has popped up out of your site, so let me move it in to the view, and I'm going to call that layer pop-up underscore one. So okay. Now the new layer has been created, but I haven't yet moved these objects onto that layer. And to do that, I select the objects I need all the objects that will appear on that layer and I have my pop-up layer one highlighted in the layer gallery and I click the move button in the layer gallery so now those objects that I've selected they will be on the pop-up one layer and again you can verify that by just toggling the visibility of the pop-up one layer and you can see that the open the pop-up layer button stays on its mouse off layer toggle off toggle that layer on, on and off see the pop-up uh, that button is on the mouse off layer and everything else is on the pop-up one layer that's good what happens if I want to open that layer because until I um, create an event that will open that as a pop-up it's not actually a pop-up layer even though I've called it pop-up one uh, so what I'm going to do is click the open the pop-up layer button. I go to the web properties and in the web properties dialog I have to say that that button will open a pop-up layer and that is the pop-up underscore one layer. So now if I was to run this preview uh, okay oh yes I've got a non-standard non web safe font in there so I'll be changing that at some stage let me resize this preview window and try and get it into the viewport for you um, open the pop-up layer excellent the gallery has appeared if I click a photograph in the gallery that appears but if I click that photograph everything disappears let me just try that again Click a different photograph and if I click you can see that there's a part of the pop-up layer just emerging by the side of the photograph there if I click on that that layer disappears the photograph doesn't disappear I've got some weird behavior going on here what I would actually like to happen is that the pop-up layer disappears a photograph is displayed I close the photograph with the X on the photograph only the photograph disappears and it and the gallery is still there that's not happening at the moment so in order to fix that problem I need to lock the pop-up layer so let's see how we do that close the preview as I say you have to have installed the uh, tweak set and it will be in your designs gallery and the tweaks let me yeah let me just close that show you where they fit 
The tweaks are in here in the designs gallery uh, once you've installed them. And of the many tweaks that are in there, one of them is called locking pop-ups. Uh, it's towards the bottom. There it is, locking pop-ups. I'm going to drag that onto the page. I'll close these galleries, get them, get them out the way, give me some more space. And obviously I would be working normally on a bigger screen. What do we have to do? On the pop-up layer, add a unique name to any of the non-text objects on that layer. So what it's telling me is that on my pop-up layer, I choose one of these objects and I need to add a unique, a unique name to it. Now I cannot choose the text, that's a text object. Of course I could soft group it and make it into a, uh, a graphic, but let me choose the background because that's always going to be there. So I need to name that. Let me just drag the um, name uh, dialog into your viewport. I need to name that and I'll call it pop up underscore one underscore uh, BG background. I'll add that thing. So that's been added to the background object. Close that. So I've now named my background. Step number two. Insert the following string to the URL field of the object that will close pop up. Okay, so in order to do that, I am going to grab the JavaScript text here because I don't do JavaScript. I'll probably just make a mistake if I try to type that in. I copied that to my clipboard. I will select the object that I will use to close the pop-up layer. Well, that is my button here, the close button. Right click, Web Properties, and the Web Properties pop up. Now the URL field, that did confuse me for a while. There's, there's no field here that says URL, but it's of course linked to web address. Um, and I will paste the JavaScript in here. Now the JavaScript of course references something called my pop up one. What I need to reference is the named object in my pop-up layer, which is pop-up underscore one underscore bg. That was the background that I named just now. And with a bit of luck, that should be it. One thing I will highlight to you. You notice when you drag the tweak into your program, it's a big obtrusive lump. Um, my first instinct was to say, oh, I'm going to drag that off the side of the um, page so that I can't see it. Let me show you what happens if you do that. I'm going to run the preview. Okay. Open the pop-up layer and it's not locking. And, you know, we're getting all sorts of weird stuff happening here. Open the pop-up layer. And the worst thing of all is the close button. When I click it, let me drag the error window into the viewport so you can see it. An error has occurred in the script on the page. I'm getting, I'm getting a scripting error when I actually invoke that JavaScript. This is very bad. And I can fix it. This didn't, this, you know, credit to Sledger and Cursor for helping me out on the forums with this. But just look at this. Just drag that until it overlaps the edge of the page and it now will work. If I run the preview and open the pop-up layer. Now what we would like remember is for a photograph to appear like this and now I can click the photograph and it goes away but look the layer is still there. Click the photograph again if I'm clicking behind on the layer it stays there and I can I can do things like scrolling around on the photograph if that's what's required. When I click the X, the photograph disappears, but the layer is still there. This is, is exactly the behavior I want from this pop-up so far. And when I close the, when I click the close button, what I want to happen is the gallery just disappears and no JavaScript error appears. Close it and I can tell you there is no JavaScript error. So I can open, close open close and if I open it 
I can pop up these windows and this now behaves the way I would expect. So hopefully that has been helpful. Again, I would like to thank uh, Cursor and Sledger for helping me out on the Zara web design forums. I would highly recommend that you visit at this URL for the Zara web design forums. Um, if ever you have a problem with the program, there are very, very helpful people there who will try and sort you out. Hope that's been useful. Take care.